tutti, hi everyone, I'm uh, Piero of uh, Distilleria Liquorificio Argala. We are in Piemont, north of Italy, in the south of Piemont, uh, near 60 km from uh, Lange Hills and 25 km from France, the border of France. Uh, so, uh, we are a liquorificio, I'm saying we are because we are two, but uh, Enrico, my, my business partner, is in vacation. Lucky guy. Actually, I was in vacation last week. Well, we started our um, business as a, as a joke, as a hobby, uh, producing uh, beers, um, flowers, wine at home in the kitchen because we, we got together, we, we knew each other since we were six years old. And um, then in 2007, if I remember correctly, uh, we started producing uh, our own pastis. Uh, maybe you are thinking, uh, you're guessing why pastis, because pastis is typical in France. But uh, as I said, we are really close to um, the French border and so pastis uh, is a uh, really common uh, here in our area is uh, the more popular um, aperitivo uh, in in our area in our valleys. Well, it was because now we are fucking spritz, <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. I'm usually I drink pastis as aperitivo, especially during the summer. Uh, this is um, our pastis argala, our first product. We started in two newsrooms uh, of my grandmother, and now uh, since 2015 we moved in, uh, in a bigger facility in uh, Boves, um, small town, uh, but quite popular in Italy. <laughs> um, and uh, here we increased our production of pastis, and uh, we increased also our portfolio producing different alpine liquors and uh, vermouth uh, and uh, single botanical liquors but we see we, we can try together so this is uh, our pastis argala artigianale uh, completely un uncrafted uh, we make it mm, using a different process uh, the first one is maceration, 45 days of all the botanicals together uh, in a uh, hydroalcoholic uh, bath. So not only alcohol, uh, but also water. Uh, quite long mm, maceration, 45 days. Mm, main botanicals are uh, N-star seeds and uh, licorice, but we have also uh, a lot of plants and herbs of our area and spices. Um, usually, we um, we like to describe our product um, with three different process, uh, three different um, families. the The first one is uh, NSR seeds and licorice. The the second one uh, are all the plants and the herbs, um, common herbs from from the garden like rosemary, Oregon, uh, sage but um, also wild thyme from, from the mountain. And uh, the, the last family is the, the spices. Uh, so ginger, um, different kinds of, of pepper, cinnamon. Um, so we blend them together and we macerate in an um, hydrocolic bath. And then uh, after the 45 days of maceration, we separate from the macerate and uh, we, we put all the ingredients in a small, in a small uh, pastille, uh, 135 liters. So it's really small. small. Um, and uh, we distill the herbs because with the maceration, we obtain the main flavors and the main colors. With the distillation, we can finish the product with because we obtain all the perfumes, all, all the all the notes. We, it's we cannot uh, reach uh, only with maceration. Then we blend them together the macerate and the distillate. We add the sugar, only two percent of muscovado cane sugar, and uh, water to reach the forty-five ABV. So this is the process uh, how we make the the pastis now we can see how we serve the pastis pastis usually drink as an aperitif 
with fresh water in a glass like this like 2 cl of uh, of pastis uh, and then uh, fresh water for the waters it's up to you um, usually it's for one part of pastis for five part of fresh water but it's completely up, up to you and it becomes cloudy white because uh, the anethol um, the oil from the NSR sets um, it uh, became cloudy uh, adding adding the water uh, you cannot see the the, the anethol um, above 45 uh, ABV but when you add water the water um, it, it works like like this pastiza is um, a liquor um, made uh, born in uh, in France by Poricard in Marseille Marseille is like the capital of pastis and um, he invented the pastis because uh, the absinthe was banned but usually all, all the people in the Mediterranean area really love to drink uh, NS, um, NS liquors and his uh, spirits and so invented uh, fortunately the, uh, the pastis and we made our own pastis um, we started with the business in 2011 maybe okay okay it's okay uh, can I test? Good, but prefer more two ice cubes. Steer a little bit. You can add also two mint mint leaves. This pressure is good. I remember when I was a child, I, um, I joined my grandfather uh, in the main square in, in our small village and uh, everybody ordered the uh, pastis and oranges for me. I was too little. So, um, the, the second one, one more. Yes, um, let's talk about uh, Vermont. Another traditional uh, aperitif of our area. Um, Vermont is a 45 uh, wine. Uh, roots of the 45 wine you can find 45 wine uh, in before before christ um, vermut uh, was born in, in uh, 18th century in uh, torino so 80 kilometers from uh, from our distillery um, as i said it's a 45 wine it means that it's wine added with by herbs plants uh, alcohol and uh, sugar this one uh, is a uh, baldoria vermont made by argala is a co-branding project with a um, very well-known uh, cocktail bar uh, based in paris the literate door and uh, we started working uh, in this project three years ago um, they, they wanted to, to produce uh, their own uh, vermouth we started to, to the development of the, the recipe to, together and now we have a, a, a brand together not only a vermouth for uh, for their venues um, the name is, uh, is Baldoria uh, we have a rosso a white and a dry vermouth and uh, probably we will uh, reach about nine different vermouth in 2021 so we will have a dry rosso rosé bitter if you like orange wine yes we will have also an orange uh, vermouth um, so a lot of fun
this the vermouth uh, vermouth is that uh, the um, the german uh, the german word um, for, for the wormwood so um, the main botanical is wormwood we will, we use uh, three different type of wormwood um, the the main one wormwood then uh, uh, the second one is uh, artemisia all the family uh, of uh, artemisia uh, artemisia absinthium first one artemisia pontica and uh, artemisia uh, valesiaca then uh, we had also a small part of a um, really important ingredient for us for our area uh, that is GNP, Artemisia mutellina. We use the, the GNP to, to make uh, the liquor, but to make also our uh, GNP gin, not only with, um, with Juniper, but also with the, the GNP. Um, we had also a small part of uh, this uh, extract of GNP. So uh, the, the first, the, the process, how we make it. Uh, maceration in a uh, hydrocarbon box uh, of all the botanicals uh, for 10 days, then 10 days of maceration in uh, wine, and then we add uh, this uh, extract of GNP. Uh, to make uh, this uh, extract, it takes uh, six months uh, because it's really long, it's uh, extraction by uh, alcohol uh, suspension. So we put uh, the alcohol in, in the tank. And above the alcohol, without touching, we put the juniper flowers and then we close the tank for six months. The, the steam, the vapor uh, of the alcohol, uh, extract um, the, the juniper uh, perfume and um, without, without uh, extracting the, um, the bitter note uh, of the typical bitter note of the, the Artemisia and uh, the green color. So it's really um, clear, colorless completely, and uh, really um, uh, alpine, yeah, alpine, uh, alpine genopy. So we blend them together, the, the maceration in, in, um, in alcohol, in maceration in wine, and we add the, the genopy extract, and then, uh, and then sugar. This one is... Um, the vermouth rosso usually uh, to give the color to to the the vermouth rosso um, a lot of companies using a caramel so artificial color uh, we didn't want to use uh, anything uh, artificial and so we um, we use a mascobado cane sugar the same the same sugar we are using to, to make the pastis and to make uh, uh, our uh, our amaro pino. Um, so the the mascobado cane sugar gives um, uh, also a licorice a note and color. Uh, to to make the red color of this uh, this vermouth, we use also uh, red wine. Uh, yeah, we use um, chardonnay white wine to, to make uh, all almost all our vermouth but for for the um, for the rosso we use uh, also uh, nebbiolo red wine it gives uh, also a good texture to to the, to the product uh, and it works really really well with the with the vermouth let's see how we can serve usually you can use the, the vermouth to make uh, many many cocktails but I like to serve it as an aperitif. So you can put the highs. See the color. And then soda water. It's 
It's really easy to do, but delicious. I'm not a bartender, so when I'm at home, I like to, to make easy drink because it could be a mess. Main botanicals are, as I said, um, wormwood, all the families of uh, Artemisia, La lavender, uh, clary uh, sage, fennel, and uh, cinnamon. Um, I don't remember the name in English at the moment of uh, uh, rhubarb. Um, and the spices, yes. Um, vanilla and a small part of um, malt to give the biscuit <laughs> biscuit taste to, to this vermouth love it and then you can make um, you can make a negroni you can make um, americano um, here at, uh, at our distillery, we make uh, the Negroni Alpino. Usually, the Negroni is made by using um, one part of red vermouth, one part of bitter, and uh, one part of gin. Um, we make our own Negroni Alpino with uh, vermouth, bitter, gin, and the Amaro Pino, that is the next product I'm showing to you. This is the Amaro Alpino. It's a typical Italian uh, Italian style uh, Amaro. So um, basically, is um, orange uh, orange peel, and then we we add um, a lot of herbs and plants from uh, from our area. And uh, we give the alpine note with uh, pine needles, uh, mountain chamomile, elderflowers, uh, lavender, uh, mountain and different mountain um, mountain herbs and uh, and plants. I cannot say all the ingredients. Uh, we make it uh, by maceration in in a, in a hydroalcoholic uh, bath for 30 days all the ingredients together then um, 24 hours of maceration in uh, water to obtain all the flavors uh, and with different type of extraction you can uh, you can you can obtain different type of uh, of taste that's the reason we we made the maceration also in uh, in water and then we add a small part of the same distillate we obtain uh, for for the pastis to to close the product, and uh, we add the water and the cane sugar and muscovado cane sugar to give the sweetness to to the product because uh, the amaro um, is really rich in bitterness and so to to pair to balance the the taste you need to add sugar uh, for sure. Uh, usually, we drink the Amaro um, after, uh, like a digestive, um, but we, we can make also a good uh, aperitif uh, with, uh, with our Amaro, it's Amaro, Amaro and Tonic. Put the ice in the glass, put the others in the ice cubes. Sounds good. Amaro and tiny quarter.
it's a really fresh way to to drink the, the amaro cheers probably my favorite one especially for the summer When we make um, a liquor, probably because we started with the, with the pastis, we like that the, the product. You can we like you can drink our our product uh, as it is, so straight on the rocks. But you can put soda water, tonic water, or just water, and you don't lose. The, the taste uh, of the product it's really important for us and so you can use our products also in in, uh, in cocktails and you can give to the to your drink something special every time every time because they are really really strong and when we started to, to make the the pastis we didn't want to make our um, the, the ugly copy uh, of Ricard, Pernod, Saint Quentin, but we wanted to make our own um, our own pastis, and so we want to give our soul, if <laughs> you can say that, uh, to to the product. And it's always the the same story for uh, all the other products for um, for for uh, the Amaro, for for the Baldoria, and for the Bitter for all the products we, we are making. Um, we have three different families of, uh, of products. Uh, the, the main one is uh, the, the Alpine liquors, and so we have the Amaro, the Gen Pigeon, and we wanted to also to put our mountains and our territory in, uh, in the bottle and in the glass. And so you can really, uh, if you drink an Amaro and tonic, you can really taste the pine needles, the alpine note. It's really important for um, for us. Let me prepare uh, one more drink since we have uh, we have time. As I said, my favorite one. Need a glass. And I want to prepare to present to you the bitter um, bitter is the uh, same style of Campari uh, but better um, 25 ABV and usually you can drink it in, in cactus uh, as Campari we make it uh, with the maceration, short maceration of 15 days uh, of all the botanicals together in, in uh, alcohol and water. Uh, the main botanicals, we give the bitterness to, to our bitter um, using uh, gentian, uh, gentian flowers, wild gentian flowers. We pick up the flowers. This is Agora. Distillery. And uh, in this part of the mountain, in late, in late uh, springtime, you can find uh, uh, a lot of these white blue flowers. And, um, and so may, may, mainly the, the bitterness comes from, um, from the ginseng flowers. Red color, we make the red color, mm, making an infusion, in, uh, hot infusion in water uh, of uh, hibiscus flowers. Um, we started in 2000, uh, in the beginning of 2019, to, to buy directly from um, some growers in the uh, African Central Republic the hibiscus flowers. And so it's, uh, we know where, uh, where they where, where come from, uh, the, the hibiscus. So we make the maceration in, uh, in alcohol and then uh, we, we add um, the, um, the the infuse of hibiscus. You can see the color. Mm. 
red and which is the hibiscus because uh, it gives the colors obviously but also because um, it gives a sour note that pairs very well with the, um, the orange peel the base And uh, you can drink making cocktails or making after dinner cocktails, I mean, but you can also make a uh, good aperitif. So I want to prepare or oh. I'm losing ice cubes. I'm to prepare an, uh, our next cocktail in bottle would be um, an Americano. So it's bitter, vermouth, a little bit of Amaro Pino. And close with soda water. We're going to bottle it in September. You can find on our website for Christmas. So we're well, almost finished it. I want to say thank you to Slow Food Network to or to have organized this uh, drink festival and to involve us in this uh, fun project. I hope you can visit our distillery next time, and so we can drink together. We can prepare cocktails together, like a taste and toast experience. And okay, that's it. Cheers again. Stay healthy, keep smiling, and ciao a tutti.